We arrive in Tampa's International Airport, ready to try our luck in the now famous Tampa Tarpon Tournament. We arranged in advance to have a car waiting for us on our arrival. In addition to our fishing, we wanted to do a little sightseeing. Boards announcing this great tournament. We looked at the skyline over the University of Tampa and saw a very modern city combined with the historical beauty of old Florida. Tampa is also one of the great shipping ports of the world. We took a brief look at the shrimp fleet, resting at dock during the day, washed down and ready for the nice work yet to come. We visited the banana dock and saw bananas from South America being loaded into boxcars and trucks for shipment all over the country. We then surveyed Tampa Bay, where we'd soon try our luck with the fighting silver kings. Looking over this famous fishing water, we could now understand why they call this backyard fishing. We didn't want to forget our Budweiser, as necessary as our tackle box to make any fishing trip a success. Our skipper, Captain Jimmy Freeman, was waiting and ready for us. And away we went with high hopes that we could soon find the cure for this tarpon fever that had been plaguing us. Our skipper had reported plenty of tarpon in the bay. Now it was up to us to try and catch them. Bang! We were in business in a hurry. What jumps! There's no horsing a tarp, and you set the drag, but not too tight, and play him real gentle like. Now he was coming in close, but he still had plenty of spunk and was too green to try and gap. As soon as our skipper set the gap, we knew we had licked that tarpon fever. At least for the time being. The pulse was still rapid, but man, what a glorious feeling. Our lady had one on in no time. Tampa Bay was sure producing for us. Watch that hat, but don't lose this silver beauty. Plenty of help from our skipper, and I was standing close by with plenty of advice. The action was just out of this world. And our lady was doing a grand job. Every time he came out, we held our breaths. Now he was coming in real close. This was one fish we didn't want to lose. But he was still green, and I was breaking out in a cold sweat. This fish could be a daily winner, or maybe do well in the overall tournament. He was truly a beautiful tarpon. In 
It had been quite a day, wonderful weather and tarpon action that just couldn't be beat. And our temperature's normal, at least for the moment. We checked in with a representative of the tarpon committee in charge. Our trophy for the time being was a single tartan scale. And it completely filled Our Lady's hand. The next day, we took a side trip to Boker Grand and the famous Boker Grand Pass, rated by experts as one of the hottest tartan grounds in the world. As we started out to the pass, we found we had another heaven-sent day. And as we came in, it seemed as if every boat had a fish on. There were tarpon rolling all over the surface, a sight that would drive any fisherman crazy. some of these boats and watch this terrific excitement. This is the type of fishing that makes a fisherman go all out. There never was a dull moment. These tartans seem to explode right out of the sea. It's a troubled world, sure, but out here, all is forgotten except the action in hand. We witnessed jumps that left us breathless and sort of weak as these battles took place. As these fish tired and came in close on the surface, you can see why they are called Silver Kings. Battles were being waged on all boats. These sportsmen of Boca Grande were living a fisherman's dream come true. Some of these fish would go 15 feet in the air. They never stopped fighting. After watching the other boats in action, we decided it was our turn. We didn't have long to wait. I was on a tarpon within 15 minutes from the time we'd left the dock. This fella came out like a rocket heading for the moon. When they sound, you put on just enough pressure to bring them back up. He came to the surface at last. Now it's up to our skipper to do the rest. It was his fish from here on in. Before I could stop shaking and take a good breath, we had our next fish on. As soon as they feel that hook, they leap for the sky. Our Lady was doing a swell job of letting the fish fight the real drag and rod tip. This is the proper way to fight any fish. High and mighty, it's a thrill you never get over when you see these silver beauties heading skyward. And there he came after a fierce scrap, but he would be released to do battle another day. Parks be all tartan released, since they are a game fish and not a food fish. However, we were to save two for a very special purpose. to the inlet. Tired? Yes. But what a day it had been. The next day, thanks to our skipper, Dwayne Futch, we had been invited to do a bit of conservation work. A big hammerhead shark had been playing havoc with many of the tarpon. The skippers at Boca Grande do a swell job to clear, clear these savage scavengers from the pass. Here are two of the fish we did keep, 
These fish were to be our bait come tomorrow. We used a three quarter inch nylon rope and our big tarpon as a lure. We wondered if we could do it. If we raised Mr. Shark, the tarpon would be hauled in close enough so that our skipper could do the job with a harpoon. Dwayne had his harpoon ready. Would he come up? That was the big if. And here he was. We had to work fast to bring him in close enough to sink that harpoon. There went the iron and made a clean hit. That three-quarter inch line barely smoked as he ran it out. Now, if that harpoon would only hold. We had a monster on. He was towing us all over the pass. And it was sure hot work for our skipper. After about an hour, we had him in close enough where we hoped we could get a clear shot at him. He came alongside at last. Now to put that 12-gauge slug in the right spot. It was a good shot, and here was one shark that would take no more tarpon. That gun was kept ready just in case. After a close look at this jaw, and you could see why a hooked tarpon had no chance. Good job completed and what a day. And this was a perfect time to relax and enjoy that king of beers, Budweiser. Well, we had cured our tarpon fever and had an added thrill that we never expected. We headed back to the dock for a look at this killer who had been doing so much damage. at the end of the dock and tied to the bumper on our car. We figured it should do the trick. You couldn't lift this fellow without power. He was tremendous, 1,400 pounds. Well, our trip had produced tarpon thrills and shark chills. Now it was time to start planning for that return trip next year.